All right, you guys, I have a 2008 uh, Grand Marquise LS. Okay, someone ended up messing up the ignition switch. All right, so the first thing that we gotta do is to replace this ignition switch, you guys, to take it off. We're gonna need to um, go ahead and take up the top cover and the bottom cover. The bottom cover has three screws on it. If your ignition, if you're just replacing the ignition and your ignition works once in a while, as long as you have it in the ACC position, okay, which is like right here, you're able to press this button from down here, the hole, you guys see that hole right there? From the bottom when the thing's off and pull it out, okay? But if you guys don't have, if you guys don't have the key and it's not opening to the ACC position, you're gonna have to drill it out, okay? And that's a little, that's a little thing right there that goes up and down. When this thing is in the ACC position, this little button comes down, okay? And that's what allows you to let it, to pull it out. So there's a little tab right here, you guys, that you guys pry open with a little flathead, and this comes down like this. Okay. Now down here, there's a little hole, you guys, right there. And there's a little pin. So we're gonna get a drill. We're gonna drill that. We're gonna get a good spot. And we're gonna start drilling that hole out. Okay. Bring that hole out. Make sure you keep your drill straight, not to the right, not to the left, because you're gonna mess up the housing. And what we're hitting right there is that little lock. Okay, as you guys can see, I drilled it out. And I was able to pull out the whole ignition. Lock cylinder, okay? That's how you do it, you guys, okay? The hardest part is taking out the bottom cover. Okay, it's really easy to drill this out. There's a little hole, drill it out, comes out, okay? All right, guys, so we have our old ignition lock cylinder already taken off right here. Now, it's really easy, you guys, to rekey this. All you gotta do is take out pin one by one. Okay, as you guys can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins inside here, okay? And it goes like this. Okay, the bottom, then to top. Bottom, top. So they come out, one comes out from the bottom, the, the second one comes out from the top. The third one comes out from the bottom. Okay, the fourth one from the top, so it goes like that. They're not next to each other, you guys, okay? Don't forget that, they're not next to each other. But we have all our tumblers in place, you guys. It's on the pin, it says the, it says the number on there, okay? As you guys see, that one says two, okay? They all have numbers on them, okay? Four, five. So you're gonna take the number out from the old pin, from the old lock cylinder, you're gonna take the pin out and just read the number and grab the new pins that they give you because they supply you guys okay there's five there's uh five cuts one through five and they also give you guys a little spring this grease okay we have that pin for the back this little plastic piece and this little thing okay that swings back and forth when the key goes in there if you guys don't have the pins you guys are gonna have to guess the cuts the deepest cut you guys the deepest cut would be a number five okay bear with me here you guys so as you guys can see the deepest cut, this right here would be a five, you guys, okay? With the shallowest cut, this on top would be a one. So you would have to guess them. So it would be like one, one, three, one, three, or four, four, you know, four, four, one, five, five. This is gonna be your guide, okay, you guys? It's showing you guys that there's eight stations, okay? There's only six, there's only, we're only gonna use seven pins. As you guys can see right here, okay? There's five depth, that means five cuts. We're number, number one, excuse me. Number one, like I said, would be the shallowest cut, you guys. Okay? See, that's number one. Number two would be you know, a little deeper, number three, a little deeper, number four, a little deeper, or number five being the deepest cut, and one belly, one being the shallowest cut, so you guys are just gonna have to eyeball it, and put each pin in one by one by one by one, to see which one, which one fits, okay, you guys? After you guys have all your pins lined up, we're gonna get a little bit of grease. We're gonna put a little bit of grease inside the pockets right here, so it can hold the pins, 
Okay. As you guys can see. Okay, so that's our, our first pin is gonna go in there. That's A, we have our pins. First, we're gonna put the spring in. There's a little hole in the side, you guys, where the spring goes in. You see it? This little, this little grease will hold in the pins and the springs. Okay, this is number two, you guys. So that was our first, that was our first cut. Okay, number two. So that was the number two, and number two would be these first top, all the top, these top cuts all the way up here. Okay. So we're gonna get our number two. Then we'll just put it in there. Okay. Our number two goes in there. And then we're gonna turn it around. Remember to tell you guys that you gotta turn it around because the next pin goes on the other side. Put a little bit more grease. take all the grease we can get okay we'll take whatever's free we'll go ahead and put that my grease on the other side grease lightning so then we're gonna go ahead and get the B okay we're gonna go ahead and put the spring on top right there okay sorry you guys I'm missing out there you go we're gonna go ahead and get the B Put the B in there. Okay, B's in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and turn it back the other way now. And then we're gonna go for a C. We're gonna go ahead and get that spring again. Put it in there. Now, like I said, you guys, if you guys do not have the pins from the old cylinder, it's gonna be a guessing game. So, and that's, I mean, if, if you have a, a machine like mine, you can just decode the key and it'll give you the numbers. But not everyone's, you know, has a has a has a key cutter decoder machine lying around. So let's go ahead and turn it around. We're putting in the fourth pin now. Okay. We're gonna go to D. Take our spring first. Putting our spring in the other side. Okay. So let me finish this up, you guys. Okay, so we can get to the next part, but this is how it's gonna go. You put your grease first, and then you know you just turn it over. So, so like I said, the grease once again helps you guys. It helps the, the springs get stuck in there. Help, help, helps it stay in there so they don't fall out when you're doing this. So make sure you put the grease in first, okay? done now we're gonna flip it again and put our last pin in there now as soon as all the pins go in there you guys all the pins have to be flush if they are not flush it is not gonna work but the, the way that you do it is you put one pin one by one you put one pin one by one while you're doing this okay and then you put it in the housing so you, you put the pin that you think is from there, you put in the housing. If it spins like this, it's a correct pin, okay? If it doesn't spin, it's locked, you put the incorrect pins. So once again, you guys, when you guys are doing it one by one and putting those pins in one by one, put it back in the housing, turn it just to make sure that it turns in there. And once it turns, that means that the pins are from there, okay? So that's just a little tip. If it doesn't spin, the pins are not from there. As you guys can see, all of our pins are flush, you guys. All of them are flush. If any pins are sticking out, okay, they're not gonna be from there, it's gonna get stuck. Before we start putting all our pins in too, let's make sure that we put this little button inside. It has a little, a little, a little um, groove right there that goes in like this, okay? And then we have a little plastic piece, you guys, that we're gonna put over like this, okay? And every time you stick the key in there, this little piece spins back like this. See? Okay, so that's what that little pin is for. As soon as we have we have our everything ready and set, 
We're gonna go ahead and put in the lock cylinder. Okay, make sure it spins perfectly. Then we're gonna go ahead and put this pin in there, you guys. And this is how the pin goes in, you guys, okay? It goes with this little bottom piece coming down around the round part. And it has a, it has a little a little slots in there where you, where you hook in the, the pin. The way that I was able to open up the pin was I got some of these, okay? I put them in between here. I opened up the pin and I threw it on there, okay? All right, and now it works perfect, you guys. Now it spins. Okay, um, when you're putting this top plastic piece in, you guys, there's a tab right there. There's four tabs, actually, you guys. But we're only gonna use this, these two tabs. What I did was I put a little screwdriver right below where the little, where the little pocket is at. And then I hit it with something and I bent it in, okay? So you guys can see that part is bent in and then this part is bent in and it keeps it from coming out, okay? You just go ahead and put a little screwdriver and tap it, tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 and you should be good, okay? Okay, you guys, so in order for the new ignition to go in, you guys, it must be in the ACC position. So what I did is I got the old lock cylinder piece and I just put it in there. Okay, and we just turn it to the ACC position. Okay, it's in the ACC position, you guys. Okay, Double check, there you go, ACC position accessory we're gonna get the new one we're gonna put the key in there the new key in there make sure this was in the acc position too so what's in the what's it what's in the acc position the little pin go in there perfect wow amazing you guys and just simple like that so just make sure that the the, the cylinder the ignition is on the acc because if it's not in the acc position you guys are going to struggle Grand Marquis 2008, okay. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that notification channel, you guys. If you guys are interested in my in my raking key slash jiggler keys for GM, Chevy, and Cadillac, go ahead, email me. You guys, those are all for sale now, okay? I do have those for sale. Go email me if you want some more information, okay? L-I-L-R-O-X-X-001 at yahoo.com. Until next time, you guys, take care.